Hey, this is part one of me creating a very basic proposal through Dubsado. I hope you enjoy and let me know if you have any questions. Stay tuned for part two. Hey, my name is Marie. I am a virtual assistant who specializes in business tech automation. That just simply means I improve your client experience and client journey as well as your business structure through automation and automating tools. Um, it's all on my website. Take a look at it if you like. I'm here to talk about Dubsado. I am a mom, so I have my baby sleeping on me. Um, this is the real life. This is my real life and this is the real world. I'm going to talk through Dubsado, um, just creating a proposal for your clients. Um, please keep in mind, I have a video of a walkthrough with my baby baby in it she's featured okay um, and there I talk through the entire database of the on and how powerful it is it is a CRM it hosts and it houses all of your clients from contracts proposals lead captures and invoices it's a beast okay um, it is in the process of being updated so please keep that in mind I also want to make sure that you guys know that I am going to talk through a lot of these quickly because I am trying to keep this within five minutes it's probably not going to be five minutes, okay? All right, contracts is where you can send individual contracts or you can send it through a proposal. Subagreements is if you have an existing client who already is in Dubsado and would like to just send an additional agreement with them. Questionnaire, it gathers information. It does not really have a different purpose than just gathering, but it's a great place to just get all the stories and questions asked and answered. Proposal is a nice place to send a questionnaire plus a invoice and a contract. It has a sequence flow. We capture it can create workflows based on the answers that are um, responded in the lead capture. So proposal is where we're going to start. I'm going to do a quick on the fly one. I normally try to make sure they're very customized and branded for the client. I'm going to make one literally off a template. So please do not judge this based on this. I'm going to do a random template um, and see what I can come up with. All right. So let's see what I would like to use. And when I say random, I mean it's not even gonna be my best work. So please keep that in mind. All right, let's use this random picture, it's really cool. I'm gonna take this and say welcome. Um, and actually I'm gonna take the welcome out and I'm gonna say, hit this as proposal. And I'm gonna take that out as well and I'm going to change this background to be an office desk I always use office desk which is why it's in my um let's see let's see let's see let's see I like to do something let's see like a table quickly people I'm sure I'm already like three minutes right now Let's see if I can find something that's beautiful. All right, let's use this one. And I'm going to actually take this, put this over here, and I'm going to add my logo, which is trademarked, by the way, so you can't steal it, because I will sue you. <laughs> All right, so I like to always just make it simple but easy. I normally, like I said, I try to customize it a lot based on you know the relevancy of your business. I don't want it to look too um, brand like templatey, so I don't make it that way. I make it very much so branded. I'm gonna actually try to see what. Mm, all right, let's do let's do white. Let's do white. Let's just keep it plain and simple. All right, so I'm gonna download this and I'm gonna get started with how I'm gonna do this proposal. There are many ways that I make proposals based on your company, so it really depends on what your branding style is if you're a business coach how you want to brand that we specialize in doing all kinds of different companies so you are going to add that over here and as you can see it's not in here because i did not add it yet so you're going to go ahead and add the image Oh, I hope she does not wake up. All right, so the proposal will be right here. What else I'm gonna add? I like to add a little welcome section about myself. And let me see if I can move her head without waking her up. Sorry. All right, so I am gonna add a text box that's gonna have a welcome little information. And it's gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it the way it is with the gibberish words. But I'm going to add an image here, and I'm going to add another text box for spacing. So let's see. Da, da, da. 
and I'm gonna add my image here. And this will be the welcome section. And I always like to personalize when I am sending it over to a client. So they have personalized fields. You can use their first name or their full name. Um, I'm going to then change the font um, because I want it to be darker than this and I want it to be black. So I'm gonna keep it at black. I'm also gonna change the font to something a little bit more elegant, something that may, I don't like that. I want it to be a bit more elegant. I think Laura is a good font. I'm also gonna change this to be not 60, 60 is kind of big. And 36 my work. My keep in mind, like if your name is Marie, like mine is, it it's probably not gonna be that big. Let's just keep it 30 just for the sake of spacing. Let's make that bold. I'm gonna make this font here. Um Poppins. I love me a Poppins font. Make that 18. Alright, and I want the spacing to be closer to my name. All right, perfect. Now, I always like to add, like, if you have any kind of recent projects, I wanna put that in here as well. I like the duplicate feature that they have here because then I can duplicate it really quick. Pull it down. And I think the spacing here is a little too big. So let's take that out a little bit. All right, perfect. So now I'm going to add another container. And containers will either, you know, be subjected to up to four different slots. I'm going to say if you want to show your recent projects, it would be a great time to show and display that on your proposal, just so that people can see how amazing your content is. Um, you can either do a text here that can say recent proposals, or you can go back and do some graphics based on what, uh, a recent project, sorry. If you want to do graphics like this, I would say that's fine. Just make it as presentable as possible. Um, I'm going to do it like this make it simple and put it in the middle all right so then here you would add and i need to change this color to black all right here you would add three images i am going to just add the images that i have here just to show you guys how it will look um and i can also use this duplicate button here and then move it over I'm just gonna add a random image in here just to display my recent projects. Now, I like to also keep a, and I think this is too much space, so we're gonna keep that there. Um, I like to also make sure that I have like good graphics showing. So I'm gonna keep utilizing this, this um, banner here, and I'm gonna go ahead and make this the same kind of relevancy, but I'm probably gonna change this to be another square, let's see, a frame. Let's use this and let's put this here. Um, I'm gonna put this as white and do the same transparency. I'm actually gonna use the consistency of this font and I'm gonna call this packages all right make that relevant out here again this is not my finest work please do not judge me based off of this here like it is not my finest work but I normally try to think outside the box and you know have great kind of imagery or style but I want to be able to show you this in a very quick and easy you know oh, let's see if I want to do that let's see do I want to do this no all right let's just let's just do three all right again I'm over here trying to think on the fly as to what I want to do all right let's do that not sure if I want it. Yeah, let's do this. Mm, let me move these over. All right, I'm just gonna stick with it again. I'm trying to stay within the time frame here, and go ahead and use this download. And I'm going to go ahead and I think I added a space already, so I'm gonna go ahead and did I? No, 
All right, I'm gonna add another container and I'm going to add another image and I'm gonna duplicate this box so we're gonna have a spacer in between. All right, and I am going to add the banner that I just created here. Again, I can do so many different things. I'm just trying to do it with one hand and a baby. So I am gonna add that there. I would have probably used a different size than this. Um, probably cut this in a little bit more in half. And for the relevancy of this video, I really just wanna verbalize it and not do it right now. <laughs> but I'm gonna take this pop, this um, spacer box right here and I'm going to create two packages. So I want my packages to be displayed here and I'm gonna do some sample packages and make them fancy. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna make them fancy. And in the packages, you can actually update them as well in terms of font and size and style. So I'm going to do that really quick. Or I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. Do I wanna, I'm gonna do something else. So I'm gonna actually also have a pack, instead of having two packages side by side, I'm gonna have the package and then I'm gonna have an image for the package. So this will be a template here to show you that. And then I am going to just say package name. This would be the place that I would say to do that. And then I'm gonna do like the introduction section that you would put here. Anything, this would be the gibberish that would be placed here, um, if you know what I mean. And this would be the description of the actual package and what you would like the person, the client, potential client to know. And then I'm also gonna do some um, oh, I like bullet points. So let's do some bullet points to make some relevancy here. Just like highlighting the sections that you want the client to really understand or know. And I'm gonna change all of this from being um, centered to like that. So it's a little bit more, oops. All right, so in the display section, it would be there. Again, I would do this black, but the default color on this right now is like this weird color. And I like to stay consistent with uh, the font. So if you're using a certain font, continue using that throughout the entire project because it would create consistency. And I'll make that bold. Oh, did I just unbolt it? I think so. All right, perfect. So that'll be where your packages can go. I normally like to do this thing where instead of doing the same mundane style, I just switch it up and actually have them adjacent to each other like that. So pretty simple. I'm then gonna do, I'm trying to think. Um, oh, you know what I can do? I'll then do another section here for like testimonials or kind words. I think kind words sounds a lot softer. So I'm gonna go ahead and bear in mind that this is not like my best work please please don't scream at me and i'm gonna use the same template again and i think hmm, how do i want to do this i'm gonna change it up a bit i'm not gonna do it exactly how i did before i'm gonna actually do it differently i think i'm gonna just do this kind of style um i'm gonna do a container I'm gonna make the container three, and I'm going to add an image here. Um, I'm going to then add a text box above this image. I'm going to add another image here. I'm going to add a text box over here. You're seeing this in real time. You don't know what I'm doing, because. I'm just going on the fly, so maybe, maybe I'm doing something absolutely nuts, and you're just like, oh, I don't know. 
Alright, so I think I'm gonna do like this, and I also need another text box, and put this underneath here. And simple for me, I'm trying to just keep it simple. I'm going to use the kind words here, and I'm going to go ahead and make that that font. I'm going to update the size, make it bold. And I need the kind words to actually be small enough to fit in the box, so. But yep, all right, and then I'm gonna center it. Oh my gosh, I don't even know why this is taking me longer than normal. All right, so again, the black color scheme. Um, all right, here we go. Mind you, I'm sticking to a black and white color only because of the timing. I would normally be very, very creative and try to get things done. I am gonna actually add like a banner here though because I think, honestly, I wanna be able to have something simple there. So I'm gonna do a new style and I'm gonna say banner. Um, I don't even know how long a banner is. Ooh, that's too long. I need to be thin. This is the only thing about Canva that I don't like because I can't understand like how thin a banner is. Like I want it to be thin, thin. All right, let's do, um, the width is fine. I think the height is what I wanna change. All right, so I, yep, this is exactly what I want. All right, so I'm gonna do just a, a straight color uh, and I'm going to just do it black. Download and let me save it. And I do wanna change that banner, I did feel like it was not fitting, but I'm gonna leave it for the time being. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and add that image that I just downloaded. And I am going to also add a spacer. It's still a bit big for me, but I'm gonna leave it because um, normally I would do it a lot smaller than that and try to make it neater. And then I'm gonna add this text box for spacing purposes here. All right, so kind words. Now, I also always try to add, you know, a section for, you know, um, your process. So you can go ahead and do that. And I'm probably gonna do it with one of a smaller tab, but a consistency, I'm gonna just do it. Oh my gosh, this is how long has this been? I don't even know how long it's been. 17 minutes, all right. I gotta cut this down. Okay, I thought I was doing it in less time. All right, that is just basically what I'm gonna do for right now. I'm gonna cut it here, do a part two if you wanna see it, and we'll move from there.